Mosiah chapter 28. The sons of Mosiah shall have eternal life. They go to preach to the Lamanites. Mosiah translates the Jaredite plates with the two seer stones. Now it came to pass that after the sons of Mosiah had done all these things, they took a small number with them, and returned to their father the king, and desired of him that he would grant unto them that they might, with these whom they had selected, go up to the land of Nephi, that they might preach the things which they had heard, and that they might impart the word of God to their brethren, the Lamanites, that perhaps they might bring them to the knowledge of the Lord their God, and convince them of the iniquity of their fathers, and that perhaps they might cure them of their hatred towards the Nephites, that they might also be brought to rejoice in the Lord their God, that they might become friendly to one another, and that there should be no more contentions in all the land which the Lord their God had given them. Now they were desirous that salvation should be declared to every creature, for they could not bear that any human soul should perish. Yea, even the very thoughts that any soul should endure endless torment did cause them to quake and tremble. And thus did the Spirit of the Lord work upon them, for they were the very vilest of sinners. And the Lord saw fit in his infinite mercy to spare them, Nevertheless, they suffered much anguish of soul because of their iniquities, suffering much, and fearing that they should be cast off forever. And it came to pass that they did plead with their father many days that they might go up to the land of Nephi. And King Mosiah went and inquired of the Lord if he should let his sons go up among the Lamanites to preach the word. And the Lord said unto Mosiah, Let them go up, for many shall believe on their words, and they shall have eternal life, and I will deliver thy sons out of the hands of the Lamanites. And it came to pass that Mosiah granted that they might go and do according to their request. And they took their journey into the wilderness, to go up to preach the word among the Lamanites, and I shall give an account of their proceedings hereafter. Now King Mosiah had no one to confer the kingdom upon, for there was not any of his sons who would accept of the kingdom. Therefore he took the records which were engraven on the plates of brass, and also the plates of Nephi, and all the things which he had kept and preserved according to the commandments of God, after having translated and caused to be written the records which were on the plates of gold, which had been found by the people of Limhi, which were delivered to him by the hand of Limhi. And this he did because of the great anxiety of his people, for they were desirous beyond measure to know concerning those people who had been destroyed. And now he translated them by the means of those two stones which were fastened into the two rims of a bow. Now these things were prepared from, from the beginning, and were handed down from generation to generation for the purpose of interpreting languages. And they have been kept and preserved by the hand of the Lord, that he should discover to every creature who should possess the land the iniquities and abominations of his people. And whosoever has these things is called seer after the manner of old times. Now, after Mosiah had finished translating these records, behold, it gave an account of the people who were destroyed, from the time that they were destroyed, back to the building of the great tower, at the time the Lord confounded the language of the people. And they were scattered abroad upon the face of all the earth, yea, and even from that time back until the creation of Adam. Now this account did cause the people of Mosiah to mourn exceedingly, Yea, they were filled with sorrow. Nevertheless, it gave them much knowledge, in the which they did rejoice. And this account shall be written hereafter. For behold, it is expedient that all people should know the things which are written in this account. And now, as I said unto you, that after King Mosiah had done these things, he took the plates of brass, and all the things which he had kept, and conferred them upon Alma, who was the son of Alma, yea, all the records, and also the interpreters, and conferred them upon him, and commanded him that he should keep and preserve them, and also keep a record of the people, hand, handing them down from one generation to another, even as they had been handed down from the time that Lehi left Jerusalem.